Welcome back guys to episode 34 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure where we've had a couple of chaotic episodes. Joyce and Madhul were stuck at the hip through the power of magnetic. Then we had Jean turn into a baby with a little baby. Whilst also having the love story of the century and confirming that Jojo is indeed the most OP baby. But then we left off with Joseph using his purple hermit and showing us some sort of temple. So I'm definitely curious to see what that is all about and where that will kind of lead us into. So without further ado, do let us get into things. If you guys want to watch the full anime, make sure to check out the link above for us to be starting the video in three, two, one, go. What is that witch in the morning like? And in the evening upon three. Ooh. Oh, oh, I have heard of this kind of riddle before. We have finally reached Cairo. So we literally have to go around town to find that location on the photo. Ooh. Da, da, da. Da, 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 na, 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 na. What do you mean finally? A few more spink stands in our way. Ooh. I would like a glass of cold milk. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's... What's wrong with them? Why is it so intense? Oh, we're exhausted. Mm, but they weren't in luck. Okay. Where could Dio have gone? Holly! <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. It's like a trade of information. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very intense for him to just say never seen it. Something just feels, why are they so in sync? Google Maps. I mean, it's pretty hard to remember one like detail, like one kind of part of the building as well, because it just looked like. Oh, OK. Now nah, you're definitely going to be a stand user. It's that building. Ooh, maybe another kind of like magician like, okay, anyone that gets that sound, ooh. Yeah, definitely, definitely a villain of this episode. Okay, why well, say that he's definitely gonna be the villain of this episode? It's just that anyone that A, gets a epic kind of introduction along with those kind of very dramatic sound effects like Suffix S F X. Anyways, it's definitely part of like at least the main character of the episode. Maybe not like part of the main cast, but at least like a main character for this episode. As well as you can see um that he definitely had a kind of standout design about him. So that's why I just think he's gonna be our kind of enemy for this episode. And so oh, oh that would also make sense as to why he knows the building because obviously. If he is a fellow Dio Binion, he would know where the base location is. And hence why maybe I'm feeling like this episode will maybe be a trade of information because 
like a payment of some sort is going to be kind of what the stand user maybe is about because we had um just like the bar person you've got to kind of order up you know pay up if you want a trade of information so maybe this person will have a poker game i don't know it'll be interesting they definitely look like they have um something in relation to cards so maybe something magician like something a little bit trickster something a little bit gambling as well it'll be interesting to see what their stand is all about Ta-da! <laughs> it's a it's a very epic opening the gambler parts one Why do they seem robotic? Is that just me? Mm, boys, nothing is free. Remember that. Ooh. Easily impressed. <laughs> No, I don't think it's money that he wants. What do you want to gamble? Oh, I don't know. He's good with the cards. With his... He wants you to gamble something worth gambling for okay and if we lose i don't think joseph is going to be a good gambler i don't know i just don't get <laughs> i love how joseph just like sorted out one money <laughs> Okay. Ooh. This isn't as much of a high stake. It's silly but thrilling, do agree. A A and it rhymes. Let's, it's 50-50. I go for the left one because anything Jean says, I just don't. <laughs> Very suspicious. Or maybe he's just going to be a gambler. I love how we got like the Dumbos and then the actual kind of smart ones. Um, I don't feel like that was a much of an equivalent exchange. I feel like you guys should have agreed to terms and conditions before betting. No, 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 no. I feel like his stand is definitely have got Kitty, go to the right. Be a good puss puss and go to the right. Oh, no, no, it's going to curve. It's going to do a swerve. Oh, it was a bigger one. Nah, it's going to yeet to the left. Oh, so John did have a logical reasoning. I doubt it. Oh, I told you it was going to yeet to the left. Damn. Look at that swirl. Look at that swirl. I wonder why, what the reasoning was. You've just sold your soul. I feel like that's going to be like the conditions of a sand.
He is. It does. It's a stealer in that moment. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, 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 he literally took it. Ooh. Oh, my boy. Oh, you made him into dough. He's a chip now. I guess that resembles his soul, the betting soul. Dobby, R B Y, Dobby, woman atmosphere. Steals the soul of anyone who loses a bed. Ooh, <gasps> the cat was a part of your plan. Cheetah, I oh, I knew there had to be a reason as to why he was so confident. That's true, that is kind of true. It's like a relationship. We can't because then we lose John. Once again, another stand user that isn't necessarily a physical fighter. No. Do you? What is he implying with the story? Oh my god, he has a fucking collections book. I guess we got to gamble it back, like win it back. I didn't expect him to have a coin collector's book. Interesting indeed. No, we got to save our boy. No, no, I don't want anything from you. Oh, Joseph got fucking real. Is this another game? Is this going to be that game where like you, you tip it over the cup? Bobby is Dobby, but you could call me Barbie. <laughs> What are you getting at, Joseph? Joseph, please tell me you know what you're doing. Oh, I'm, I'm stressed. I, oh, I don't know. I just, mm, 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 mm. I don't like this. I don't like this. I Is there a way? That is true. We are the ones that decided the bet this time. So it's not like he could technically tamper with it in advance, such as owning a cat. I wouldn't have allowed him to touch that. 
Oh, I feel like he's fiddling with something there. Okay, Joseph seems I'm the master of the glass and coin game. Okay. Okay, Joseph seems like he has a plan. Isn't he going to put in exactly eight or oh, five coins? Oh, fuck. Five at once? No. That just breaks too much tension. Look at that. Look at physics. Damn it, stupid. Stupid look of one in it. Couldn't Joseph drop in? Oh no, okay, you're gonna start with one. Oh, you fucking cheater. <laughs> Each time he plays, he's adding just enough and more liquor, I feel. Little cheater. That said, though, you know, I'm on Team Jojo, so. What happens if he gets caught? Oh, fuck, he got caught. What an idiot. For talking too much. Barbie? Barbie? I thought it was Barbie. My bad. Gotcha. Dan, Joseph. Still got it. I didn't know Joseph was a good gambler. I doubted him. I feel bad now. Wait, is the intense sunlight going to evaporate some of the liquid so it wasn't as much as he planned? No, 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 no. Why is he moved? Are you sure? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like we've miscalculated something. He knows. <gasps> oh, we're so fucks. <laughs> I feel like he deliberately moved then. Joseph, don't give away that you're cheating. No, nah, I think he did something in advance. Oh, Joseph. Okay, what could happen? What? Maybe he made the coin lighter? I don't... Um, no, but then I, it would have... Evaporate. He said evaporate. It has to do with something in regards to evaporation. Oh, Joseph's lost his cool. Oh, Joseph lost his cool. Joseph, breathe. You've got to be steady. Well, I, oh, I think it's going to overflow, though. Look at it. We're fucked. 
Joseph looks like he just aged like 10 years. <laughs> wait, what? Wait. Why is the soul already taken? What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we had already lost. <gasps> Holly! <laughs> I, I do love the molding animation that goes down. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. We are so fucked. A dual breed that ain't gonna accomplish anything. Oh, so oh fuck up. <laughs> I love how Jojo can just be like, <laughs> he cheated. He cheated. <gasps> he cheated this motherfucker. I knew it when he was touching the glass. Wait, what does putting Choco on it do? He did. He tilted it. That's when he offered the chocolate. Wait, is it because, yeah, how does that work? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the side was filled. Gotcha. Damn, I didn't. I thought it was gonna be in regards to evaporation, but that's why he moved. Oh, that's why the sun was drawn so brightly. And that's why we talked about melting. I thought it was because it was moving. It was definitely have to gonna be in regards to like the sunlight, but I didn't know it was going to be because. Jojo just got real. <gasps> Poker. <gasps> oh, you're the champion. That's good to know right now. He isn't violent, but he is definitely the most Oh, just seeing our boy's like lifeless body is. <gasps> Once again, another stand user that isn't necessarily violent or like physically dangerous, but is actually the most like kind of threatening stand user as he literally takes our souls if we lose a bet. And as him being like kind of a poker champion, a betting master, has all these tricks up his sleeve. Let's make it very difficult for us to get a win over him. I know that Joseph is a smart boy and especially in part two, we've always seen him as a very witty player that no matter how dire or like tense the situation is, he always manages to stay calm and think three steps ahead of his opponent. But unfortunately this time he did indeed get caught off guard. Even though he himself was cheating, it wasn't enough. It was just not quite enough to catch Darby off guard. I am absolutely loving seeing all these like cheat methods that I could possibly not think of myself. Who knew that he would put a piece of chocolate to slightly tilt the glass so that he could fit just one more coin and then melt it perfectly at that moment for Joseph to lose.
boost. So he definitely had all of that calculated beforehand. The trajectory of the sunlight to make sure that at first it was his shadow on the cup so it doesn't melt the chocolate and when he gets up it would be perfectly timed to melt the chocolate. I definitely thought that the sun looks very like intensely animated so I thought it was going to be in regards to like evaporation so when Joseph added just the amount to tip over the glass I thought that's why he moved so the sun could evaporate just that little bit more liquid but I did not think of chocolate whatsoever. I also was quite impressed by some of the animation like the card magic kind of tricks animation that was very slick and clean but I guess now we have to see if Jojo our kind of last hope because I don't think Abdul is that much of a gambler so I do feel like Jojo is going to be kind of like our final hope to be able to win this game of poker. So I'm going to jump straight into episode 35 which you can watch straight away on my Patreon but until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you guys then. Thank you.